Our friends over at Powered 4 TV are giving listeners to this podcast an incredible 50% off your first month when you sign up to Powered4.tv and use the promo code Jonners. Powered 4 TV are one of the leading on-demand streaming services in the UK with tons of shows from over 20 wrestling promotions from around the UK and the US including TNT Extreme, Chicagoland Championship Wrestling, DNA Pro Wrestling, Full Force Wrestling, Ignite Wrestling and so many more. There's also plenty more to enjoy including an incredible archive of classic matches, life layers with William Eva, podcasts and so much more. Sign up to Powered 4 TV today and save 50% off your first month. Just use the promo code Jonners. Welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network Sunday special interview. Very excited today because returning to the show is one of my absolute favorites in the world. He's an impact wrestling superstar. Very happy to welcome back to the show again, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Josh, welcome back to the show, man. Well, thank you for having me. I think it's like, what, three or four now? I'm trying to keep count. Every single time I come on, I'm like, is this the second, third? No, so, I, I think this is the fourth or fifth time. I, I get a lot of, uh, yeah. when I see on Facebook, when I, when I get my memories, it's uh, I get a lot, oh, you interviewed Josh Alexander on this date, or you interviewed Josh Alexander two years ago. So it's like four or five, I think, right now. Yeah, time flies, man. It's, yeah, huh? I know. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll be talking like this uh, when we hit like 25, 30, 40, 50, 60. Man, it's yeah. just, let's just keep going, man. Yeah. So um, so you mentioned, uh, I just want to ask you, you mentioned on social media that every time you think about cheating on your diet, you look at a picture of Kota Ibushi. So my question is, do you always carry a picture of Kota Ibushi around with you in case you're thinking about going to McDonald's or something? <laughs> well, I mean, the, we have these things called uh, smartphones. So yeah, that's any, true. anytime I want to guilt trip myself, I can Google half the New Japan roster and just feel okay. real guilty. When <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, so um, the, the smartphone coming out. He's, uh, he's in fantastic shape, man. Uh, you a Kota Ibushi fan? Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. Dude, I'm a fan of everybody. I'm just a wrestling fan in general. <laughs> so like, but like somebody that talented, you can't deny. Yeah, man. He's, um, he's probably, in my opinion, the, the, no, no, don't get offended, but I think he's the best wrestler in the world right now, in my opinion, Kota Ibushi. I mean, that, there's no offense taken. If there was, okay. then I'd be okay. a delusional individual. <laughs> he's okay, on top man. of the wrestling world. So. <laughs> okay, man. So, so how are you enjoying your, uh, your singles run right now in Impact Wrestling? I mean, it started off pretty well. Uh, you know, uh, me and TJ was a really well-regarded match. It actually surprised me with how uh, well-regarded it was because, like, these things happen with no crowds and they're taped. So, you know, you come to the back and you're like, yeah, that was really good. But like, you never know how people are going to react to it when it airs. Yeah. And people reacted like, I, I got more buzz off that match than nearly anything I've ever done or as much, if not more. So, you know, it, it must be starting off pretty well. I know I'm very comfortable as a singles guy. So yeah, yeah. I have a lot of experience doing it. So it's just, it's cool. It's a new challenge. And I, I just can't wait to keep going. Yeah, I thought it was a fantastic match. A fantastic match with TJP. I I wanted you to win that X Division title, uh, but uh, unfortunately it didn't happen. But do you think they rushed that title shot? I thought maybe there would be um, a build for it. To, uh, maybe the match would happen at Sacrifice. And I think you became a number one contender, and like two days later you got the shot at the title. Do you think they were, they rushed it, or do you think there should have been a bit of a build for it? I, I think there's a lot of stuff that's rushed like throughout okay. my entire time at impact with like the tag team title run and stuff like if you look at the tag team title run we never had like a, a feud with a blow off we just had like matches which whatever it happens but like as a singles guy you win the like I, I had the match at no surrender and everybody like was crazy about that one too which surprised me uh, like I was just pleasantly surprised by all this stuff but uh because you never know how people are going to react and then just to have it air the next Tuesday right away and have the challenge like 
I, I just know I'm capable of like telling a very good story with professional wrestling and I just haven't been able to do it yet. So like, you know, I, I need a long run, a long feud to be able to show those tools that I have. And yeah. one day I'll have the opportunity and I know I'm going to be ready. So are we going to see that exhibition title around your waist um, in the future? I mean, who knows? It's on my bucket list. It's definitely okay. a goal. So I, uh, I, I, I can't say yes or no. I'm going to do everything I can to make it happen. Do, do they have any big plans uh, for you? Because I, I think you would be a major, major star uh, in, in Impact Wrestling. Are there any big plans to give you a major push, um, hopefully soon, uh, that you're aware of? I have no of? idea. Okay. I have no idea. They, I, I'm kept in the dark on everything. I show up and I see who I'm wrestling that day. And that's what I, that's what I do. That's my job. Uh, I, I would welcome any and all opportunities. Uh, the pressure could not be big enough to, you know, push me a little bit harder. You know what I mean? So any opportunity is I'm welcoming it. Okay. How do you feel about the TNA title now being a recognized title? Are you considering maybe going after Moose in that title? That would be a fantastic match as well. You against Moose. So I don't know exactly what's happening with this. It's a recognized title, but have we established that Moose and Rich Swan are eventually going to go head to head and unify this? So there will be one championship finally, or okay. is there just going to be two at all times? I, I, I think there's a lot of companies right now with a lot of belts that are, you know, up in limbo, like you've seen in the IWGP and the Intercontinental Championship in New Japan just got, you know, yeah, uh, unified. So I, I think a similar thing might happen in Impact. If I had to guess, I don't have any inside information. But if it does, then I think it's just going to be one world championship. I think, I think it's important to have one world championship. I don't like a lot of titles in promotions. I think it just waters it down and mean, makes them mean less. And I like when championships mean more. So. Okay. Well, how do you think Kenny Omega fits in all this? Do you think Kenny Omega is going to eventually? Um stick his nose in this and try to get one of those titles or even both of those titles? I think Kenny Omega named himself the belt collector right away okay, okay. when this all happened. And if you look at the landscape of professional wrestling, how it's playing out, uh, Impact looks like they're going to have a unified heavyweight championship that he would want. I think he's going to want that unified intercontinental and IWGP championship as well, if not others. So if he wants to be the belt collector, I think he's got to go to all these companies and win them. So yeah. That would make gonna, sense. Well, uh, hopefully we'll see. I would love to see Kenny Omega against yourself. I think that would be a fantastic match as well. Um, speaking of Kenny Omega, the AEW Impact Wrestling Partnership, uh, how, how do you feel about that? What are your thoughts on that, man? Uh, uh, it's been really weird, to be honest. Uh, and, like, I, I think it's great because it gets eyes on Impact as well as eyes on AEW. Like, I think wrestling fans as a whole, like, I watch this stuff as a fan. I think we love unpredictability and having those relationships out there and in like in the know lets people like have the assumption that there's going to be some unpredictability. So people are tuning in more and more to be like, what might happen? And I think it's just up to all companies involved to make sure that they don't let the fans down and they keep giving them a little bit of surprise here and there. Cause I think like the surprises and stuff like that is what fans really do enjoy. That's why the Attitude Era was so hot with WCW and WWE were like going head to head because you never know what might happen, right? And I think we have like a similar thing going. Uh, I There's stuff like Tony Khan's paid ads every Tuesday night that are aired on Impact where he just rips the yeah. company to shreds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm one of the guys that's standing in the back and wants to retaliate. I want to be sent to AEW. I don't care if it's dark or if it's AEW on a Wednesday night. And I want to go head to head with whoever they think is the best and show that everybody in this impact locker room and mainly me can go up against these guys. And, you know, I'll, I'll wholeheartedly embarrass them with a smile on my face if I can. So. Absolutely. That was my next question. I was going to ask you, what are, you, what are your thoughts on Tony Khan bashing the company? Uh, so you would like to do a run in then uh, on AEW? I mean, yeah, my I, I my colors are uh, red and black for Impact, and uh, if they want to send me down to AEW or if he wants to lay down the gauntlet, I'll happily go. <laughs> okay, yeah, because right now what they're doing is sitting the Good Brothers. I mean, we've we've seen numerous AEW stars in Impact Wrestling, but we've only seen the Good Brothers so far, and and Father Mitchell. Father Mitchell has been in AEW as well. Um, yeah. 
do you, is there any plan that you might know of where other stars are going to be such show other impact stars are going to be such showing up at AEW? Uh, Cause I would love to see it, man. I would love to see a few, I would love to see Moose, Spear, Kenny Omega. I would love to see other impact stars get the AEW and, and uh, do some damage there, man. I, I, I don't, I know nothing. I would, I just know that I would be very excited at the thought of any of us being able to go there and show what we can do because I think uh, there's a lot of talent in our locker room and we have as much, if not more talent than their locker room. So I, I, I just like, I like competition. I think competition breeds some of the best uh, results for professional wrestling. So if we're, we're competitive and we're like, Team Impact and we're Team AEW and we're out there to show who's best. I think everybody's going to rise to the occasion. It's going to be better for it. So if it can happen, it needs to happen. Well, hopefully we'll see uh, Eddie Kingston against Josh Alexander one more time. That'll, that'll, oh. be, that'll be fantastic, man. That's the one. That's the one AEW match <laughs> that <laughs> I would love. That's the one match. I was going to say, if there's a super show, uh, do you have an opponent in mind? Would it be Eddie Kingston? Oh, yeah. I would love to wrestle like Pac and Kenny Omega and I, I, I think Jungle Boy is great. There's obviously the tag team dream matches if they could ever happen. But like uh, singles wise, Eddie Kingston, there's there's one guy that no matter what indie show I was on and I was booked against him, like I know that we wouldn't have to even coordinate with each other before the match. We could just go out there on a moment's notice and we could steal the show. Absolutely, man. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll see that soon. I would, lo- I would love to see you show up at, at AEW, man. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I'm going to ask you about Ethan Page for a second. If Ethan Page actually did wind up signing with AEW and with the partnership, could we in fact see a continuation of the North with that partnership? I think anything is possible, okay. uh, and like, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I don't think the North is dead. By okay, any that's good. That's good imagination. news. Uh, whether it's in a year or it's in five years or it's like in eight years, I think there's always going to be a demand to see a reunion of that because it was so good. And it would be a terrible shame to waste all that chemistry. Absolutely, man. You guys were, in my opinion, one of the absolute best tag teams in the world. And I would love to see the North uh, reunite at some point down the road. I, I don't think we got the, I, I think you against the North against the Good Brothers, I don't think we got. A good enough feud there. Like you said, I think it was rushed. I think we need to see a, a longer feud between the Good Brothers and the North, and hopefully we'll see it again. Hopefully we'll see it again down the road. Yeah, but all it is is all it is is hope because not nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you miss Do you miss Ethan Page? Do you miss Ethan Page in Impact? I mean, yeah, but like the, the I I'm a, I'm a fan of like fresh challenges, and I I like change. So like this this first two years went fantastic. It couldn't have gone better for me. Like I showed up in that company and within three months I was a champion and I held that championship for nearly the entire time. Yeah. So, and it was always marquee matchups. Like we ran that tag team division. We, we literally took it out of LAX and the rascals hands. And we said, this belongs to us now. It's up to you guys to take it away from us. And nobody did. And we just dominated until the good brothers and, you know, Ethan Page's untimely demise. But, uh, yeah, now I have a new challenge. I'm a, I, I have like new goals and I'm going after singles championships. And I, I just like, there's something about like my inner child that loved TNA on Wednesday nights when I was like 12 years old watching that, tuning in, that like can't believe what I've done so far. And I know that like my inner child would love to see me win the X Division Championship and the TNA Heavyweight Championship. So like those are things that like I need to do now. Okay, man. Well, I'm sure it's going to happen for you, man. What about the What about the Impact Wrestling World Title? Do you want that as well? Or? Oh, that's the one I meant. Like, I, okay. I, I to me, I to me, they're one and the same. Okay. I, I, I don't think uh, I, I don't think they're going to be separate for very long. I mean, I would hope not, because, like I said, I think it just waters down the product if there's too many championships. Sure. Now, now this uh, we spoke about Sacrifice a little uh, early on. This is going to be released after Sacrifice, but I'm just curious. Do you have a match for Sacrifice? I, I looked online. I didn't see any match for you yet. Uh, no, no, I do not. Okay, so you so, won't be at sacrifice. I mean, I might be at sacrifice, okay, but oh, I, okay, I don't okay. have a match build right. card. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at that. Is that the tag team title behind you right now? The impact wrestling tag team title? Uh, yeah, we have a uh, we got replicas made, and oh, okay, if you look at it split red and blue, yeah, okay, we held both versions of it, so that's okay. like my uh, my collector's piece to remember forever, uh, okay. 
I thought maybe you, 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 you showed up and you stole the title from one of the good brothers <laughs> and, you, and you're holding it hostage. <laughs> no, I, I got that and I got the Destiny Heavyweight Championship. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I, cool. Um, cool, man. Now, we spoke about um, AEW, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, also Finn Juice showing up, uh, taking on the good brothers at Sacrifice. If there's a talent exchange and they happen to send you to Japan, I know that would probably be a dream come true. Um, do you have an opponent in mind, or who do you think you would match up well in Japan? I know we mentioned Kota Ibushi, uh, but who else do you think you would ma um, match up well in Japan? Uh, if I if it does happen and it's New Japan and I go to Japan, I would love the opportunity to have several matches with uh, Shingo Takagi. He'd be like oh my God, number yeah. one, and like he's like one A. And one B is Ishii. Like I, the, both those guys, I've been such a fan for so long, and like everybody there is amazing. Like I, like 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 I would balk at being like booked against Tanahashi or Okada or something like this. Like they're all amazing. Yeah. Those two are ones that just resonate with like the kind of style of wrestling I love to watch. So I'd love to experience that firsthand. Are you Are you following the New Japan Cup? Uh, I have not. Actually. Okay, so I, I, I watch it all kind of after the fact. Okay, so I won't give out any spoilers because you mentioned Shingo, but I won't mention any spoilers. I'll I'll, I'll keep quiet. Sure. Uh, all right, cool. So um, uh, so last question, man. We're zipping along here. So um, last question I have is, what are the goals for twenty twenty one and beyond? I, I know you've been with them for two years. I think it was a three year contract. Are you looking for an extension, maybe, or are you looking? Well, I don't want to. I'll let you. I'll let you answer the question. What are the goals for twenty twenty one and beyond? Uh, right now, I want to establish myself as like an invaluable member of the wrestling community. So by the end of 2021, if every company doesn't look at me and be like, we want to have him on our roster, I will have failed at my goal because I have an opportunity on television every Tuesday night working for a company that is well-regarded to like do that. And if I don't do that, then I've let myself down. And it's not saying I want to leave at all. I would be more than happy to negotiate an extension with Impact right now if they started calling me up and doing so. But okay. also, uh, like I know what I'm worth. I know, I know that I'm talented at this. I know where I belong in a locker room and a roster. And I'm not like saying I have to be world heavyweight champion everywhere or that's my place. I, I, I know that I'm very good at this. So, you know, I'm, my goals going into the future is to support my family with this and be happy doing it. So there's like a convergence of how much money I need to make, but like also the fit of where I go or where I am or where the opportunities are. So impact's been great. As I said, I've had like a crazy two year run and like this, this next last year of my contract that I've just begun with this singles run it started out great so far. And I don't, I don't see it going poorly whatsoever. So, uh, because like they know that I'm dependable and all this other stuff. We have a great relationship. Uh, but yeah, I just want to cement my legacy as like one of the best wrestlers in the entire wrestling community, not just in impact wrestling. And uh, I have to do it at impact right now. And yeah. Okay, man. Well, well, like I said, you're absolutely one of the best in the world and if you end up in impact or I'm sure there are other promotions would love to have you in their, uh, uh, in their company, but uh, right now, Impact Wrestling, you're absolutely one of the best in the world, in my opinion, and um, I wish nothing but the best luck in the future. I want to thank you again for joining me today. Actually, before we go, I see you have a lot of uh, merchandise behind you. Is there anything you want to plug? Uh, any stores or anything that you want to plug? Any merchandise uh, stores? I mean, I got the... What do I got? I got the Impact branded walking weapon shirt there. You can get that at Shop Impact. Uh, I have... Well, there's Bound for Glory and all this other stuff. Canadian Strong Style shirt there. If you go to my Twitter, my Instagram, in the bio, there's my Teespring. You can get it there. Okay. Yeah, that's that's about it, man. I appreciate all the support. If anybody wants to get any merch, uh, you know, it's it's always welcome and appreciated. But you know, no pressure. I understand that we're in like a yeah. weird time where everybody, you know, is just trying to make ends meet. And I just appreciate everybody coming along for the ride with me and the support that I can get, you know, online and at shows whenever they start up. All right, man, and I, and I should have thanked you from the beginning, but I've completely forgot. But thank you for that uh, for that autograph picture, man. I really appreciated that, man. That was that was cool. Yeah, it's the least I can do, dude. And I got it like in thirty seconds, which was great, man. 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one time the postal service actually works. Like, yeah, it worked really well. Fast. It's like as like as soon as I hung up the phone, it was in the it was in the mailbox. <laughs> man. So, that's great. Yeah. So again, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's always a pleasure having you on, and I wish you nothing but the best of luck in the future. And um, hopefully, we'll see you at sacrifice. I'll be watching, man. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll we'll talk again if I win an X division or. Uh... If I win any gold and impact this year, I'll make sure I'll come on here. All right. That, that's fantastic. I appreciate that, man. And put some pressure on myself. Okay. Okay, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Well, this has cool. been the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network Sunday special interview. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye. <laughs>